Well, that's our kind of game, and we got to go through San Jose still yet, so uh, we'll have our hands full, I'm sure. And you know what? That game had no overtimes. That was, that's the amazing part about it. It is amazing, but that uh, Rice offense is very difficult to stop, and they can do that on anybody. Okay. You know, Coach, the comment is so widely used in sports. This guy isn't big enough, or that guy doesn't have the size to play the game. Well, we were just talking with one of those guys that everybody, everybody said that about, Chad Owens. He didn't have a scholarship coming out because he's too small, but... You can't, you can't measure the guy by, but by his heart. Our warrior to remember heard that he wasn't big his entire football career, but boy, did he prove the critics wrong. Dan Audick spends his days tending to the garden of his beautiful San Diego home. When his thumbs aren't green, they're thumbing through articles and pictures that chronicle a football career full of triumphs and despair. You know, side by side, they're, they're together, and, and uh, the best of times is with the worst of times. And... Audick was only 185 pounds coming out of high school, on the small side for an offensive lineman. Undaunted, he wrote to, but was rejected by several major universities. Impressed, however, with his speed and technique, the University of Hawaii. My entire uh, college career was, uh, was dependent upon my ability to lift the weights, eat the right food, grow stronger, grow bigger, faster, bigger, stronger. At UH, Audick got bigger and stronger. He worked his way to starting center his sophomore year, switching to left tackle his junior and senior seasons. The Rainbows during the mid-70s had talented individuals, but collectively, they were a hot and cold team. Um, there were times where we could go to Tennessee and, and uh, go straight up with them, but there were other times where uh, we hit the doldrums in the lull, so um, we were inconsistent, but, but we were always the, the uh, hope that we could knock somebody out. Audick was a knockout on the O-line, blowing holes for ball carriers like Wilbur Haslip and Arnold Morgado. The latter, Audick recalls, got mixed up at the end of a particular play. Getting up from the pile, I feel somebody pinching on me, pitching on me hard. Arnold, that was me you were pinching. No. And... <laughs> oh, why was he pinching? He was pinching. Do you think he was pinching somebody else? He thought it was the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was the bad guys. <laughs> Audick pinched himself in 1977. Still undersized, he was drafted in the NFL. After three seasons with the San Diego Chargers, a team that was one game away from going to the Super Bowl, Audick was traded to lowly San Francisco. The 49ers record, six and ten the year before, uh, dismal before that. There was like two and twelve, and it's like, you know, I didn't even know who Bill Walsh was. Audit quickly learned, at 250 pounds, he was the lightest on the line, starting at left tackle, protecting the blind side of Joe Montana. He played in all 19 games that 81 season, from the catch, that's him in the background, to San Francisco's first ever Super Bowl title. The next season, however, was one of expectation and disappointment. Expectation was, well, certainly not going to demote me. Um, we've, we've just won the world championship, and if they're not going to demote me, because <laughs> I'm too small, right, then, uh, then I'm, I'm going to get a, a nice boning, bonus to, to sign with this team. Sadly, there was no bonus, and Audick was traded to St. Louis, where he would play two more years before retiring. After hanging up his uniform, Audick turned to academics, earning his master's and then doctorate in education from USC. Dan Audick proved it wasn't the size of a man, but the size of his heart and the will to overcome life's many challenges. You know, Dan is just a pleasant guy to uh, visit with, and you know, his dissertation, he even sent a copy over here to Coach Jones to, uh, to look over. It had something to do with computers and football, didn't it? Well, it did have something to do with that. He was a little bit uh, different in his day, but uh, he certainly uh, worked hard and got uh, accomplished what he needed in life. He had one great dream season all the way to the Super Bowl and a Super Bowl victory. Okay, this coming week.